Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to be checking out the Corsair K70 TKL Champion Series keyboard. This keyboard is an upgraded version from the previous K70 and the previous K70 was made entirely up of plastic and they didn't have a version that was 10 keyless. So I do like the fact that Corsair didn't include the number pad on the K70 here because the number pad isn't something I personally use too often and I do like that it creates more room on your desk and it creates a more minimal and sleek look because there's less keyboard taking up your desk. So with that little bit of background history out of the way, when you actually receive this keyboard, what's included in the box is the keyboard, of course, a detachable USB-C cable, additional keycaps that you can swap out. We'll cover this a little bit later in the video and a quick start guide that's gonna show you how to actually operate this thing. Starting off with the design, this thing is made of aluminum or at least the top is and it has an aluminum plate that lays under all of the keycaps. On the sides and back of the keyboard, it's gonna be made up entirely of plastic. On the back, you're gonna have rubber grips on each corner of the keyboard, and if you extend the legs, the legs are also gonna have rubber grips. And these rubber grips are definitely gonna make it a lot more stable and a lot less sliding on your desk when you're actually using the keyboard. One thing I do wish they included on the back of the keyboard was a cable path router, which you can tell the cable where to go if you don't want it to come out of the center of the keyboard. Most keyboards that are like $100 plus from Razer, SteelSeries, they have cable path routers, but this one doesn't. So kind of a disappointment, but not really a deal breaker. Just kind of one of those nice to have things in a keyboard. Now going back to the front of the keyboard, if we actually look at the top bar over here, on the left hand side, you're gonna have all of these media controls, which can let you simply control your media without actually going into the app settings. Really handy stuff there. And then the far right side, you're gonna have the volume rocker, which I am a fan of this volume rocker because it does have bearings inside of it. And it has this really smooth and high quality feel when you're actually adjusting the volume and next to the volume rocker you're gonna have a quick mute button if you want to quickly get all that noise out of your headphones or speakers and then next to the volume settings you're gonna have three buttons the first one is gonna be a profile switcher so if you install the software you can switch between different modes on this keyboard the next button is the LED brightness adjuster and you just push it and it toggles between different light setting so fairly straightforward stuff there and then next to the light adjustment button you have the windows lock mode and what that does is it disables the windows key from actually working and this is going to be handy if you're like in a game and it's kind of annoying when you accidentally push that button and this big menu pops up and it kind of distracts you and it can cause you to lose or whatever so that's a nice button to have one thing to note that on the previous version of the k70 keyboard is that it did have a wrist rest but this one here does not have a wrist rest. And I think that's okay because this keyboard does have a fairly low stance. And when I'm typing on this keyboard, it doesn't feel like I have to prop my fingers up too high. It feels like it's just about the right height without my fingers feeling like they have to crawl up the keyboard. It feels fairly natural for the most part. And then in the center, you do have this little screen here with the Corsair logo that's just cycling between different RGB colors. If you go to the top side of the keyboard, you can see that this is where the detachable USB-C cable plugs into. And then next to that is a tournament switch button. And what that does is when you enter tournament switch mode, the RGB lights only glow one color and the macros are also disabled. So I guess what the tournament mode button is designed to do is to create a less distracting environment and just a more focus on your game kind of thing. So moving on to the keycaps, these things are made up entirely of a PBT material and they're also going to be double shot. And the benefit of double shot keycaps is that it's going to prevent any wearing, shining, or fading with time especially if you use keyboards for long periods of time. You also get additional keycaps that have this grippy texturized texture. And these things are not only texturized, they also have a steeper angle in the concaving area. So instead of like a standard arc, it's gonna be like a lot more dramatic. And the benefit of that is, is that your finger can easily catch the key 
and then register the click, which is gonna be really cool stuff and it's gonna give you a competitive edge for more accuracy. And the keys that are included is by default, you're gonna have the regular keys installed, but what it comes with is the WASD keys, which is for like walking around in most games. And then you're also gonna have the Q, E, R, and F key that you can also install on this keyboard. And that's gonna be good for like MOBA games or FPS games, because those are typically the shortcuts that you use in those types of games. Moving on to the switches, this keyboard is available in two different types and you can get them in the MX Cherry Reds or the MX Cherry Speeds. And the speeds are basically white key switches. I guess that's just Corsair's version of the whites. The keyboard I have here does have the white switches or the speeds and let's do a typing test so y'all can hear what this thing actually sounds like. So as you can tell by the typing test, it's not exactly an ultra silent keyboard, but it's not like a obnoxiously loud keyboard like the blues. I mean, I'm personally not a fan of blue switch keyboards mainly because they're loud, but I do like the way they feel. But this keyboard here does have like that more linear feel, at least with the white switches and it feels good overall. The only thing to note with the typing experience is that there is a tad bit of key wobble, especially in the spacebar area. Like when you're actually, move, when you move the spacebar around, the spacebar does wobble a bit, but it's really not too bad. And it's really not noticeable at all on the smaller keys. So it, I would say it's fairly firm the mo for the most part and it feels pretty polished overall for me. Now the RGB lights on this keyboard are fantastic. They are very vivid and bright, especially on the brightest settings. And there is a few different customization patterns that you can choose from. And the way to switch between them on the fly without installing any software is by holding the function key and then clicking one, two, three, four, all the way up to nine. And you can cycle between the different patterns and you can adjust the speed as well by pushing the function minus or plus symbol simultaneously and then of course i did mention earlier you can adjust the brightness settings on this keyboard by pushing the brightness button at the top bar of the keyboard the little light icon here i'm not going to cover the software in this video but if you do want to see a software tutorial i'm going to leave a link to that down in the description below so is this keyboard actually worth getting well if you're looking for a high-end mechanical keyboard with all the bells and whistles you got rgb lights you got mx cherry key switches and then you even have special keycaps on this K70, I would say this is a good option if you wanna level up from like a low tier or a mid tier keyboard and enter the high end tier keyboards. So if you are interested in this keyboard, I am gonna leave a link down in the description below pointing to Amazon on where you can get it. And if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you left a like button and left your comments down below. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one.